Guys, so we are right now kind of in the desert. We're just getting the day started, and you've brought some chocolates. I cannot wait to try this out. No. Oh, it's not chocolate. But I would suggest to take some in Actually, your trips. Promise you never get sick. Oh, that's not chocolate. Oh. That's basically Am I the dropping of female Shh. donkey that the farmer, the guy offered us some, and he said this is the most strong natural antibiotic. I'm sorry, you eat this? No, no. You, once upon a time when someone is sick, we put it on the fire, it starts smoking until it gets completely ash. The moment that it smokes, we have to inhale it. Through the through, yeah, so it's good for the lungs, for throat, for sore throat. Oh. Perfect. Yeah, it's when's all, the last time you used that? I think it was in January, right? Really? <laughs> yes. Oh, you actually did? Yes. Do you have a fire nearby? Let's inhale some donkey dung. Do we have fire nearby? Oh, yeah, they have got a special device for it. Yeah, going yeah to of course. <laughs> yeah, you can't just put this in your house hookah. You gotta put, you it can in put it in some... They put it in hookah, actually. If oh. you go to, like, for example, what, what a bit on? more inside the city in the uh -huh. hookah houses, then um, they also, you order, they put it on the top of your hookah, so... What? <laughs> so right now... Unfortunately, we don't have the... This is we unbelievable. So he's putting the dung in this burning device. So not only does this man sing to cows, he also knows how to burn donkey shit. Antibiotic. Very strong antibiotic. From now on, Sonny, you shouldn't be worried about sore throat or cold, so on and so forth. You just take a few of them, very light. Just put it uh, in the corner of your suitcase. Make sure that they don't recognize it as drug or something. Mm -hmm. And then you are done. I also, after bathing in this dung smoke, I don't need to worry about women talking to me or looking at me. <laughs> Many things I don't have to worry about anymore. <laughs> oh, look at that skill. He's just lighting, just with a lighter, lighting the dung, putting it in this device. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is he literally smoking the dung? This is the wildest thing I've ever seen. Yes. You barely see the old people of this village going to doctor, actually using this. I want to try, I'll try a little bit. I'm open-minded. I'll try a little bit. Yes, we could try uh, later in the guest house if you like. No, I could, let's try it right now. I want to rip some fat clouds. Okay. I'm about to rip a fat donkey cloud. I, I inhale here. Okay, yes. Do I put my lips on there? A bit closer. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, I feel cleansed a little bit. <laughs> you try it. It's got a little donkey buzz. It's got a little donkey punch to it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Keep it inside your lungs? Yes. Oh, I didn't hold and it very long. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Mm -hmm. My approach was too aggress aggressive, and you are... We take time until... Taking the time with it, yeah. So the dosage of this medicine is basically until the, there's no smoke anymore. Dosage. Yes. Like one turd, two turds, take two turds, call me in the morning. No, like we just put one, like the whole package, mm. and then until it gets ash and there's no smoke anymore, then you're done with sore throat. You do this like once a year? No, I do it if I feel that I'm about to get sick or I'm sick, I use this. <laughs> I got a little bit of a donkey buzz, I mean it. Don't worry, you're gonna be in sand dunes, free wind, it's gonna take all the, all the smell away. <sighs> Listen, I'm feeling strong, I'm ready for more. Okay, cool. Let's go. Thank you so much.